Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us have the third set of the easy round for grade 6 pupils. In the easy round, you are given 15 seconds to answer each question mentally. Let us begin with question number 1. If n satisfies 15 plus 10 minus 2 times 5 equals n times 3, what is the value of n? Go. Time is up. The answer is 5. Question number 2. The clock read 4 o'clock. What is the degree measure of the angle formed by the hands of the clock? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 120 degrees. Question number three. The length, width, and height of a rectangular box are 5 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 11 centimeters respectively. What is its surface area? Go. Time is up. The answer is 366 squared centimeters. Question number four. If 2 raised to the fourth power times 9 equals 4 squared times y, express y in exponential form. Go. Time is up. The answer is 3 raised to the second power or 3 squared. Question number 5. Lita's money was 5 fourths of Zenny's money. When Lita gave Zenny 9 pesos, Lita's money became equal to the total money that Zenny then had. How much was Lita's money? Go. The result, the answer, is 45 pesos. Question number 6. A cube with a volume of 64 cubic centimeters is divided into 8 congruent cubes. What is the length of a side of a smaller cube? Go. Time is up. The answer is 2 centimeters. Question number 7. A dress costing 350 pesos was on sale at 10% off. Not sold, it was again made on sale at another 10% off. What was the total percent of discount? Go.
Time is up. The answer is 19%. Number 8. Jane used two-fifths of her savings to buy a gift for her mother. She used one-third of her remaining savings to buy a gift for her sister. What fraction of her savings was left? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's two fifths. Question number nine. The length of a rectangle is two more than twice its width. If its perimeter is 22 centimeters, what is its length? Go. Time is up. The answer is 8 centimeters. Question number 10. Two thirds of the length of a stick is 5 and 1 half popsicle sticks long. If a popsicle stick is 7 centimeters, how long is the stick? Go. Time is up. The answer is 57.75 centimeters. Did you get all 10? This time, let us show the solution to the 15 second questions. Question number one. If n satisfies 15 plus 10 minus 2 times 5 equals n times 3, what is the value of n? Here is our suggested solution. We have 15 plus 10 minus 2 times 5 equals n times 3. Following m dash, we can proceed to 15 plus 10, that's 25. Also, 2 times 5, that is 10. So, we have 25 minus 10 equals n times 3. 25 minus 10 is 15 is equal to n times 3. To get the value of n, we have 15 divided by 3, and that is equal to 5. Question number 2. The clock reads 4 o'clock. What is the degree measure of the angle formed by the hands of the clock? For our suggested solution, we know that in an analog clock, the circle is divided into 12 angles which is 30 degrees each. The angle between the hands of the clock at 1 o'clock is 30 degrees. That is one part. So, if the clock reads 4 o'clock, then the smaller hand of the clock is at 4 and the bigger hand of the clock is at 12. Then we have 4 times 30 degrees. That is equal to 120 degrees. Question number three. The length, width, and height of a rectangular box are 5 centimeters, 8, cent 8 centimeters, and 11 centimeters, respectively. What is the surface area? Here is our solution. The formula for surface area is equal to 2 times the sum of the products length times width, width times height, and length times height. So we have 2 times 5 times 8 plus 8 times 11 plus 5 times 11. So we have 2 times 40 plus 88 
plus 55. 40 plus 88 is 128. 128 plus 55 is 183. 2 times 183, that is 366 squared centimeters. Question number 4. If 2 raised to the 4th power times 9 equals 4 squared times y, express y in exponential form. For our solution, we can observe that 2 raised to the 4th power and 4 squared are equal. 2 raised to the 4th power is 16. This is multiplied by 9. Equal to 4 squared is also 16. This is multiplied by y. Then, if we divide both sides by 16, 16 over 16 is equal to 1. Then, y is equal to 9. And 9 is 3 squared. Therefore, y in exponential form is 3 squared. Question number 5. Lita's money was 5 fourths of Zenny's money. When Lita gave Zenny 9 pesos, Lita's money became equal to the total money that Zenny then had. How much was Lita's money? For our suggested solution, let L be equal to Lita's money and Z be Zenny's money. Then Lita's money L is equal to 5 fourths times Z. Now, when Lita gave Zenny 9 pesos, that will be 5 fourths of z that is lita's money minus 9 lita's money became equal to the total money that zenny then had then this is equal to z now, let us solve for the value of z. We have 5 fourths of z minus z is equal to 9 using the addition property of equality. Now, we have 1 fourth of z is equal to 9. Therefore, z is equal to 36. Zeni had 36 pesos. Now, Lita's money is equal to 5 fourths of z, then we have L is equal to 5 fourths of 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9, then Lita's money is 5 times 9, that is equal to 45 pesos. Number 6. A cube with a volume of 64 cubic centimeters is divided into 8 congruent cubes. What is the length of a side of a smaller cube? For our solution, 64 is divisible by 8. Then 64 cubic centimeter divided by 8 will be 8 cubes measuring 8 cubic centimeters. <clears throat> For an 8 cubic centimeter cube, each side would be equal to the cube root of 8 then each side is 2 centimeters. Number 7, a dress costing 350 pesos was on sale at 10% off. Not sold, it was again made on sale at another 10% off. What was the total percent of discount? Here is our suggested solution. Regardless of the cost of the dress, let's say we have the cost of the item at 100%. If this was made on sale at 10% off, then we subtract that 10% from this total 
What remains is the 90% of the total cost. And we, if we take again 10% of this 90%, that would be 9%. Then for the whole price or for the original cost of the item, there was a 19% discount. Number eight, Jane used two fifths of her savings to buy a gift for her mother. She used one third of her remaining savings to buy a gift for her sister. What fraction of her savings was left? Here is our suggested solution. Let us represent Jane's savings by a bar. And let us divide this into five equal parts. Now, if she used two fifths of this saving to buy a gift for her mother, she has three fifths of her savings left. Again, she used one third of the remaining to buy a gift for her sister. Now, it is clear that two fifths of her savings was left. Number nine. The length of a rectangle is 2 more than twice, twice its width. If its perimeter is 22 centimeters, what is its length? For our solution, let L be the length of the rectangle and W be its width. Now, the length is 2 more than twice its width. So we have 2 times W. Plus two. The perimeter of the rectangle is twice the length plus the width. Since the length is two, two more than twice its width, then we have 22, the perimeter, equal to 2 times 2W plus 2 plus W. So we have 11 is equal to 3W plus 2. 11 minus 2 is 9 equal to 3W. Then the width of the rectangle is 9 divided by 3. That's 3 centimeters. Since the length is 2 more than twice the width, we have 2 times 3 plus 2. Then the length is equal to 8 centimeters. Problem number 10. Two thirds of the length of a stick is five and one half popsicle sticks long. If, if a popsicle stick is seven centimeters, how long is the stick? For our suggested solution, let us represent the length of the stick into one bar. Let us divide it by three so that two thirds is equal to 5 and 1 half or 11 over 2 popsicle sticks long. The remaining one third would be half of this. So the remaining one third of the stick is 11 over 4 popsicle sticks long. Then the total length of the stick is equal to 11 over 2 plus 11 over 4. This is equal to 33 over 4. Since a popsicle stick is 7 centimeters long, then we have 33 over 4 times 7. This would be 231 over 4. This is equal to 57 and 3 fourths. The answer is 57 and 3 fourths centimeters or 57.75 centimeters. That would be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.